I pick it up, one false cast halfway, and then one right up there. I give it, oh, and we got one, guys! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is a huge, fat fish. That's beautiful. Look at this beautiful fish. Gorgeous fish, good catch, buddy. Thank you. The double nymph rig is often the most effective way to fish a hole like this. He barbed the hook. It's not too hard to pick up that fish. And then I'm going to just point him upstream. And he drifts to the bottom because he's a whitey, and he's good to go. So utilizing that pace, pause, and 10 and 2, once you've begun to practice your fly cast. This is a woolly bugger, and this is a woolly worm. And both of those are intended to be uh, stripped through a pool, imitating small, moving, uh, living animals, creatures. Uh, beautiful, beautiful tan hue. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. You know, fly fishing can be a pretty gear intensive sport when you start out. That's right, there's lots of gear to purchase and it can be difficult to, to figure out where to begin. The upper knot to tighten down onto the lower knot and snug up against the arbor of the fly reel. And if you've completed your arbor knot, securing your backing to your fly reel. I teach you a variety of casts here that are variations on the main fly cast, the normal, typical fly cast. Right now I'm demonstrating what I call the tower cast, or the vert cast. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you right now the dry dropper technique. Okay, I've got a caddis fly and a small uh, mayfly nymph, okay? And um, it, as you can see right here, it's about 18 inches apart from fly to fly. Paint little dots on your sections of your rod, and when you put them together, they can line up just like that. This is pretty cool. This is a huge stonefly who's just crawled out of his nymphal stage. This long lining technique is, uh, is really nice because you can work a, a long stretch of river uh, without uh, having to do the step and move. So this, to me, is somewhat of an angled sidearm cast because I can't overhand cast into the tree branches, but I definitely have to get my cast up in the air over the brush. So, and spotting along the back and heavy spotting in the tail, but not so much on the belly. Ha 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 